Welcome back, and today we are here with another week of Broadway grosses, so let's get into it. Up first, we have Anne Juliet, which went from 95% last week to 95% this week, staying the same. The uh, gross went from 1,162,401 to 1,178,968. Again, there's nothing huge to say about Anne Juliet other than that it is making millions of dollars, literally, and it is very successful. A Beautiful Noise went from 76% last week to 71% this week, going from $962,467 last week to $884,498 this week. And again, I think this show isn't in any danger right now. I mean, it's definitely probably making close to its weekly, what it needs to make weekly, or it's doing just a little bit under that. I think it will do well in the summer, but I do think the fall will be a huge predictor on whether this show is... Um, a two to three year success, or if this is going to be like a summer, a dawn of summer musical, and close within a few months. Bad Cinderella is doing pretty bad, and pun intended, going from 91% to 80%, and making 631,890 last week compared to last week's um, heavily comped and open last week, 633,929, an average ticket of $70. This show is not going to do well. It's definitely not going to make it past the summer, I don't think. A show with this big of a cast and this huge of a set with how much money it needs to make a week, it is failing on every level, and that's just a fact. And again, the, a show like this cannot make this kind of money. Kimberly Kimbo could make this kind of money, and Kimberly Kimbo would love to make this kind of money right now. They'd love to have 631000 but for a show that costs as huge as Bad Cinderella... This show needs to be doing 800k, 900k, a million dollars is really what its only goal should be. And if it doesn't make anything but that, it's kind of a bit of a disappointment. And with rising costs and the competitiveness, especially after COVID, the standard that shows are held to is much higher. And this show is not meeting that standard. Uh, Danson went from 77% last week to 74% this week, going from 646,944 to 581,412. And again, I don't think this show is going to be super successful, but I didn't think anyone thought it was going to be. Um, it's not doing terrible, but it's just like doing what it was expected to do. Camelot is doing very well, going from 91% to 95%, going from 859,626 to 890,710, which is an incredible increase from week to week. Funny Girl went from 1,644,720 to 1,814,450 in eleven, from 84% to 93%. Hades Town went from 851,675 to 900,000, going from 99% to 100%, and an average ticket of $122. And this is huge because Hades Town tickets have been very low, leading to lower. Um, overall grosses, and that's kind of been the factors of why I think the show's going to close. I still think it has a very good chance of closing. I think the fall is going to be a huge factor, but again, it's doing much better in January and February and March and April than it did in the fall, which made me very nervous that the show would close this year, and it still can, but if it can maintain, you know, 800, 900, and, and make a lot of good money over the summer, it can possibly survive. So don't give up hope just yet. Um, but again, I don't want to get too optimistic, you know, because again, the standard, the standard's quite high, and Hades Town has been, hasn't been reaching that standard the way it should. Um, but this is certainly a sign in the right direction. Kimberly Akimbo needs those Tony nominations, going from 92% to 90%, going from 527288 to $485,000 this week. And again, this is... Pretty poor numbers for Kimberly Akimbo, and if again, and if it wasn't a Best Musical contender, it would have closed already. Um, and even when it does win Best Musical, this could have a very similar run to a Strange Loop. I feel, um, although I do think it is much more mainstream. And I think once it gets the Best Musical title, I think it will attract more people, and it could end up having a nice, healthy run. But I don't think this will run longer than a year. Moulin Rouge went from one million four hundred eighty-two thousand two hundred eighty-five to this week's one million five hundred sixty-one thousand six hundred twenty-four, going from ninety-nine percent to one hundred percent. And these are its strongest numbers since it opened back in twenty nineteen. So very ex happy that this show is doing so well and that is making the kind of money it needs to. And again, this money that they need to make of one million five hundred sixty-one is very high, and um, in a way you could say is almost impossible, especially after COVID. But it is managing to do that, and I think that it's because of Aaron Tivet. And it will be interesting to see if it falls dramatically or just a little bit 
when Aaron leaves. I think it will increase a lot, but we'll see. New York, New York is doing very well, going from 100% to 89%, with seven performances, going from 418,601 to 870,814, and these are the kind of numbers that a new musical with a big budget needs to do. New York, New York is doing exactly the kind of business that you would want it to do, that you would expect it to do, and um, Bad Cinderella and Shops, you should take notes, because this is the only new musical that's actually bringing, in my opinion, is, is the only new musical that's bringing in it's an overall gross that is not um, underwhelming or disappointing or just downright not being successful. And I think, you know, this these are the numbers it needs to do. So it's this show's doing very well. Parade surprisingly went from one million one hundred twenty seven thousand last week to one million one hundred fifty eight thousand four hundred ninety three this week, going from ninety nine percent to ninety nine percent again this week. I think a lot of people might be surprised because I know Ben Platt's huge, but he's not like huge, huge, you know, and it's a very dark show, but again, for this show to be doing a million dollars, definitely deserves it, very happy that, um, people are interested in seeing a show that actually has substance and worth and relevancy, and, you know, if there's any show that you should support, it's Parade, and it, it deserves all of its success, and I do think it could win Best Musical, or Best Revival of a Musical, I do think that. Shocked went from 97%, um, to 97%, going from 517,000 296 to 482,196. And there was an interesting article where the producer is said and admitted purposely they were making the ticket prices lower so more audiences could be generated. And that's kind of worked. The capacity is really high and there's good word of mouth. However, even with it, the average ticket was actually uh, a little bit higher last week and it still made less money this week. And it's opening today and I just don't think this show's gonna do well when that average ticket goes up to the regular Broadway prices. Um, and I, cause I, I just don't think it's, objectively, having seen the show, I don't think audiences are gonna wanna pay Broadway level money for Shucked. I'm sorry, but it's true. And I think I'm gonna be proven right. Um, and it's sad that an original musical is probably gonna close like within a few months. But it's just what I see. The writing is kind of already on the wall. Six went from 1,136,666 to 1,173,930, going from 100% to 100%. Some Like It Hot is maintaining its mediocre ascent, going from 925,851 to 827,142, going from 80% to 74%. Sweeney went from 1,394,402 to 1,734,930 and 100% capacity um, as well, which again is amazing that, that Sweeney Todd is doing this well and Phantom is ending its run strong with $3 million in the bank and selling out. So those are my thoughts on the ghosts. A lot of very interesting stuff. I'm very interested for next week, um, particularly when we see what the grosses look like for Shocked, since the average ticket will go up, and whether I'm proven right or whether I'm proven wrong, I think I'm going to be proven right. And, um, again, the Tony Awards and the nominations are so far away, so I really hope that um, shows like Kimberly Kimbo can hold on, but they most likely will. So anyways, those are the grosses. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next week. Peace.